I wanted to sell but not this one, all right? Um, if I want to sell for y, first thing we need to do is get rid of whatever is adding or subtract to our variable. I see this at positive 2x, so I need to get rid of the positive 2x. So to get rid of the positive 2x, I need to subtract 2x. And I'm going to subtract 2x on the left and the right side. All right, so 2x minus 2x is going to give me a 0x. 0 times x is 0. 0 minus 5y is a negative 5y. Is there a problem? No. Oh, my wire thing is being covered by my feet. Mm. Crazy, man. So then the next step is this is going to cancel out, so I'm left with a negative 5y equals a negative 2x plus 30. All right, all I did was I wrote the negative 2x. That's still a positive 30, so I wrote plus 30. Okay. Then, now the next thing we need to do is get rid of our negative 5, which is in front. Now remember, guys, I told you addition and subtraction, you can't combine a number and a number with a variable, right? Because we don't know the value of x. So you can't combine them. But now I'm going to divide by negative 5. Therefore, I'm left with y equals, and I divide it by negative to get rid of the negative, negative, and the 5. So therefore, I'm left with a negative 2x plus 30. Divide by negative 5. Now, in the previous example, it was pretty easy because we knew that our number went into both these terms. Here, a negative 5 does not go into both of these numbers. However, we want to write it as two separate terms. So I write y equals positive 2 fifths, because a negative divided by negative is a positive, plus 30 divided by negative 5 is a negative 6. Well, a plus and negative can just be written as a negative 6 or a minus 6. All right? Ta-da!